Today on Ark Building Evolved, we continue work on the Viking settlement, bringing our great hall to life with a design based on High Moon Hall from Skyrim. Five minutes. Five minutes is the average amount of time it takes for me to place the first building piece in an episode of Ark Building Evolved, and I was ready to buck that trend. I wanted to be placing pieces the moment the episode starts. So what I've done here, guys, we're getting back to work on the Viking Great Hall that we began uh, last episode a couple of days ago. And uh, that is the beginning of it. It's based on High Moon Hall from Skyrim. Go back and check out that episode. I show off High Moon Hall in its glory a couple of times throughout that episode. And today we are going to complete construction if I can remember the techniques for doing so. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, a little of that, a little of this, and then, is that right? Let me see. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and add in some thatch detail up here. And I think I should be able to get one like that. Perfect. And I think what we'll do is we'll probably come in here and add in a door. Uh, I'll figure out the interior space later, but um, what I think we got on this corner is the continuation of that style we came up with for the Viking, ooh, not that, for the Viking Corners last episode, and let me get back up on the, I can do it, I can do it, like so. Okay, and this time though, they overhang, they hang over the edge instead of being directly over part of the build, and we can figure out, maybe we take this corner, maybe we bring this corner to here. Uh, maybe that is a good idea. Um, we'll see. I'm going to back up and we'll, we'll see if we like what we've just done here. Um, we can take this out, this out, this out, and we'll talk about the concept for this build. Thank you for the love and support last episode. And a big shout out to GG Fizz. I mentioned him last episode and one angry fan of his. He came and was in the comments of last episode too. And I actually ended up checking out his Viking stuff. It's so different than mine. We're not going to be tripping over each other's toes. We may even collaborate. So there you go. Continue the, the love and positivity as you guys are out there in the world. Um, and and, um, and we're going to continue that here, and we're going to continue building. I mentioned how much I was enjoying myself in a recent episode, and I really am. I think uh, this series has really kind of got a life of its own. I went back and watched episode one, um, which I don't often do. I don't often go check out old uh, old series like that, but I was in the mood to do that this time. So right here is going to be the corner of a build. And that means, I guess we take that up, and we take this up. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to be building up. It'll be interesting. I think we're going to continue uh, coming across with ceilings uh, for support. And actually, let's go ahead and throw a door frame in right here. And we'll go ahead and throw a temporary one in right here. It's stone and not wood. We need a wood one eventually. Whoops. Let's do that. Perfect. So we've got that coming through here. If you look, I've gone ahead and started work on um, continuing the support that these wooden ceilings provide. Um, they provide it on this side. And I think if we, oh, I don't have a lot, but I think if we're able to continue it at this height, we're going to be able to, uh, we're going to be able to use it to our advantage. So it's the height of like that. Perfect. Is that going to support what I need it to support. I think it will. I think we're going to have a row of windows coming down from this, and that'll be perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is excellent. Okay. And let's put that there for now. And I think one more. Okay. So that is the height that things will be coming down at. Uh, this is temporary. I'm going to come back and fix this probably off camera because I think we'll want them facing the other way. But just for reference, I think we're going to come take another step back and we'll examine our work as we go. That's the beginning of something. And then that is going to arch up. That is going to arch up towards the middle. And I think, ooh, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, I think that's going to be perfect. Um, hmm. There we go, guys. The sun rises. I uh, started putting on a thatch roof under the cover of night. And I am having some trouble with this. Uh, I think... I think I had it right the first time. That. Perfect. Uh, so I've gone ahead and done some stone ceilings on the outside here. We still have these ones I just showed you on the inside. And we now have a little bit of sloped thatch above us. So these are facing the right way. 
why don't we, ooh, I'll take you out, take you out, and take you out, and I think we can probably back up and have a look. I, I'm going to keep doing this throughout the course of the episode. This is, I've learned this from playing Minecraft. I would, you had just, you had to get so close to things. You got to back up and take a look every once in a while. That is the beginning of it, guys. And this place is starting to come together. I think what we're going to do is mess up this whole corner. I think I like it better uh, the way that we have it on the front where the corner is basically like this. Uh, instead of having a wall here and a wall here, we're going to fill out that corner. Uh, and I think I'm all set up to do that without, I think I can do it without messing up any of what we have going on here. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's hop down here. We're going to want to take this out. We're going to want to take out the fence foundations too. And that's going to bust up. I think that might bust up this pillar. We'll see. Nope, we're good. Okay, perfect. And, ooh. Okay, like so. Perfect, let's head inside. All right, so a stone ceiling here. We're gonna do, and around the whole edge, the entire outline of this build has uh, wooden fence foundations on it. And I keep making sure to choose the outermost snap point. Let me see if I can do it. Like that, okay. And then we'll go ahead and put a pillar on the corner and I'm gonna come out here and make sure it runs all the way to the ground like so. And I think that one needs to be one higher if my memory serves. And then we'll go ahead and fill in that gap right here with uh, some stone. And that's gonna make it look like the foundation comes out further. For me, these can clip right into the ground. So I can do that. Uh, that won't work for everybody. You're gonna have to stop when you hit the ground for most people, but that works for me. Uh, so what we need to do now, I think, is one here and one here, and then we're gonna come back up. We're gonna finish this off with walls. Basically like we should have done here. This was a window frame I showed you at the end of the last segment. Let's go ahead and come in here like so. Oh, that's not right. What am I doing? I'm building it like we had it before, like so. And we'll put one there and we'll do a little parkour. Yeah. All right, and we're gonna do this. Let's go ahead and put that in like that. I think, I think we're good. I think we are good. Okay, so we're gonna continue this across here, guys. I think I'm, it's probably time for me to do a little bit of away from camera stuff. Um, I'm gonna go show you basically the prep that I did here. Uh, the prep is mm, these, these thatch ceilings that are giving me something to snap uh, snap these wooden walls too. Uh, the prep was the fence foundations. We did that way in advance. And then uh, uh, these pillars, pillars all in place. I kind of go one, two, one, two, one, two around the whole outside. And this is basically, you know what? If you stand in here, it's a heck of a lot easier. I forgot that. Let's go ahead and do that like so. And we're going to build it up. And then, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Out of my way, you dang hog. This thing's going to get built into my house. <laughs> go ahead and do this. Perfect. And then we are going to need, uh, we're going to need to figure out how to bring, how to bring these across the thatch ceilings. It should be a fairly simple process. And then uh, I'm going to need, I guess I'm going to need to cheat my way up here, one of these walls. And we'll go ahead and put that there. And that'll give us something to get started with for our thatch ceilings. We can go ahead and, whoops, I was going to say we can go ahead and take it out. I think not yet. So uh, out here, guys, I'm going to do the same process we did earlier. Uh, basically, if I come down with a wooden wall here, that's going to give me a snap point for a ceiling like so. And then I can get rid of that and I can get rid of that and I can use that snap point to get my inside out window frames. And these are inside out wooden walls, but I'm basically going to come across like this around what's left. We'll go slap that in. I'll go put an arch on the front and I will go... Uh, Actually, I'll go complete the sidewall, and then we'll go put an arch right on the front, and I'll bring you back uh, to take out uh, to take a look at anything unique on the other side. Um, that has been prepped and ready to go with this bit, and so uh, yeah, I'll leave you guys. I will be back. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it is coming together. Uh, okay, guys, I think what I'm gonna do. Last episode, we talked a lot about bakers, I almost said butchers, bakers and cooks. 
Uh, cooks being the type of people who just want to take bits and pieces from what I do in a video like this and use it to make their own recipe, whereas a baker wants to follow my recipe step by step. Um, I don't want this series to be for one or the other. Yeah, I may be more of a cook, yeah, I may have more fun making videos for cooks. It may suit my personality better, but a lot of you guys out there, you're bakers. You want the, you want to see exactly how to do things. So, this side of the house is done for all intents and purposes, I think. Uh, maybe like one or two, one or two random pieces like that um, in the way, and I'm missing, I seem to be missing something here. Let's go ahead and do that. But this side of the house over here has only had basic prep done to it. I've gone around and done pillars around the outsides like so. I've done the big pillars here that are gonna support our, our big central building, same as we did on the other side, and done the same thing here. Now on the back, I've been thinking about ideas because we could do something a little different. It's gonna have a, an arch at the exact same height but we could maybe do glass or big windows or something like that because we are on the back. But what I'm going to do for you guys who are the baker type is we are going to, for the first time ever, I think in the series, we're going to time lapse it. I am going to go into fly mode and I am going to build the second half of this house as an admin flying around so that you guys can see exactly how I do it step by step. This will be fun to edit. Uh, I have no idea how it'll turn out, so bear with me, and then I'll bring you guys back, and together, cooks and bakers alike, we will take on this final section uh, together. I hope you guys are enjoying the time lapse. It's been kind of fun to edit. The music is from DJ Quads, and we are about to hear another one of his awesome songs. Links, as always, in the description. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse. And there we go, guys. That is it. A completed time lapse, hopefully, and one that is ideally very useful for you. I don't know how it turned out. Hopefully good. Um, this side of the house is done. There is only one area left, and there we go. All right, the only part we haven't done, uh, other than some finishing touches, as I can now see over here, filling in the damage we just done did along with this hole, uh, what we have got left is, let me get up here, please. Uh, what we've got left to do is this back area, uh, and let's take you out, get rid of that, 
get rid of that and get rid of that with my magic crossbow. So we have this area to do. I think um, height wise, it's going to be restricted to being the same as before with uh, the top of the peak coming up to, can I do it? No. Anyway, the next one up, basically the top of the peak coming to the bottom of that catwalk. Um, but we have a view up here and let's fly again. We have a view and we will be at what height? This height at the most. I think we could put a big window in here. So I'm going to play around with the basics. I'm going to do the bottom part. And when I bring you guys back, we can take on a big arched window together. I think it's going to be fun. Through the first 20 some odd episodes, guys, I was bad at choosing locations. I mean, I chose pretty ones, but I chose ones that didn't get a ton of natural light or ones that had crazy loud noise due to waterfall proximity. We have chosen wonderfully this time. I mean, what a spot. Uh, I know Ragnarok is the new hotness, and if you guys get into some Viking-style architecture for your arc building, you're probably going to be doing it over on Ragnarok, but dang does the center look good, and dang does our build look good. I put the pig up on the top of it. Uh, it looks kind of stupid. Um, I, just, I keep looking out here at these mammoths on top of this rock, and I love it. Um, the sponsor for this server is Logic Servers. There's a link in the description if you ever want to get a cheap server. It would help me out. But their, their logo is a mammoth. And I think it's like a green and purple mammoth. And I think we ought to get one in here. Just as a shout out to Logic, we ought to get a green and purple mammoth. Maybe for next episode. But we need to complete this one. And I'm rambling. So welcome back, guys. Come on in. We're going to complete the back of the house together. I'm ready to do it, and I think we have time. Last episode came in at a nice, tidy 23 minutes, something like that. And uh, people were like, oh, please go longer. You could go 40. No thanks. We're going to keep it shorter than that today, but we will not hesitate to build everything we need to build. I, I've been working on the uh, entrance. Uh, it was just two ramps, and it looked really silly from the side here. Because uh, it was hollow underneath, and you could see the gate. Uh, but I think, I think we might have done it with this. This might be a spot for a stone pillar, to be totally honest. But uh, we've used a lot of wood so far. I'm continuing the design. I like it. And yeah, that place looks great, even with a pig up on the roof. Uh, so let's go ahead and get inside. Still have to figure out the interior. I think that's for episode 27. But uh, episode 26 gave us this. This wing completed. Uh, uh, this wing completed and in a perfect world we're able to remove a lot of this stone we're able to tie in to what we've got going on here and we we'll make a big open space this this i picture to be a throne room i think it's because my inspiration comes from skyrim for a lot of this place it is high moon hall after all but i picture coming in and uh and a lot of this stone has been removed and there are pillars off to the sides uh, catwalks up in the ceiling forming like scaffolding forming the, the ribs of the ceiling, and then you come in here and this is your throne room. And I think you're going to get natural light from in behind. That is my plan. Uh, off to this side, maybe we have a dining hall. Uh, off to this side, maybe you have... Um, I wonder. I wonder what the... What, I'm trying to remember in Skyrim what you would have. We, have, we need royal quarters, I know that, and I think they're probably going to be in this back section, um, and we're going to do a big window area up here, I think, in just a minute, um, but one of these wings, yeah, one of these wings could be a, a big dining hall. Hell, if we got these walls removed, we could have a big table that runs the whole length of this. How amazing would that be? All right, so we got potential, we got ideas, we got a lot of things we could do. For now, I think it's time to dive into this back area. I need to put up a little scaffolding. I need to get us up at a higher height, and I will be right back. All right, I think this is where we will be building, guys. And I did a little work beforehand, and I did a little work in stone. So we've got, uh, these are all vanilla building pieces. So uh, stone walls and then some flipped backwards uh, stone walls. So we get a little bit of variation between the two levels. It's not so obvious on top of the door frame, but it's the reverse of that on the other side. Um, and I think it looks good. It's a technique I've used in the past. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna need a bunch of wood. Uh, I think wood is gonna be step one of this. And we're gonna have to get, we're gonna have to get a feel for uh, the shape and how much glass we can incorporate. 
Okay, so let's do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop some in right here. And I think that will leave the two middle bits for glass, which should be perfect for us. Let's put that right up there. And how are we going to do the glass? Well, first of all, I think we're going to have to make some edits to our wall. Uh, do I have a cross? This thing will do the trick. Uh, and let's go ahead and pull that up. I think we're going to have to make some edits to our wall. I had made this a particularly high bit of the wall, and I don't think we're going to want to do that. I think we're going to want to lower it uh, so that we don't screw up a view. Uh, so, ooh, break some stuff. Whoops. Okay. I'm just trying to clear some space, guys. I'm trying to make sure our view is not obstructed. And you. Perfect. And we'll put a pillar back there and a pillar back there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so what I want to try, and I have no idea if this is going to work. What I want to try, greenhouse glass door frames. I don't want to go too crazy with the light. And what I'm thinking is that these are going in backwards, technically. They're going in it so that if you put a door in it, the door will be backwards. And we have doors. We have wooden doors. What I'm hoping is that with this technique, we're going to get something that looks like just thin, narrow windows. And that will look like, you know, ideally that wood will match this wood or the pillars enough that it will seem like it's not a door in a door frame, but it will seem like it's part of the wall and there are just narrow windows in between. Which has me thinking, I guess we're going to have to try and cap this out. We're going to have to try to do this and see how she looks. I think that's not going to work. I think we're probably going to want, I think we're probably going to want wood up top. Interesting. And what do we do here? Do we continue to pillar? Do we continue to pillar all the way up? I think so. I was trying to avoid it, but I think that's probably the smart thing to do. Okay, let's take a look from the outside. Be right back. It is hard to tell. It is hard to tell this time of day. I'm going to have to wait for the sun to get lower in the sky. Uh, or wait, earlier? I can't remember which one's which. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know, guys. I think I like it. I think I can live with that. The question is, do we change the roofing material? I'm very much thinking about doing a wooden roof on there. Just to... Mm, I'm very tempted. Uh, so what I want to talk about... Well, I'm out here. I, I haven't been on this side very much. All of the views I've been taking of things, backing up and taking my views, have been uh, from the safety of inside these city walls. This is not the safest of areas. And when I did a live stream, we're live streaming every weekend, uh, Saturdays and Sundays, 11 a.m. Eastern, as long as I can keep up that schedule. Um, and we talked about this city. And in the past, in this series, what we've done is we've gotten into the minds of the people that, the, whose cities we're building. We've gotten into what they think about. What kind of creatures do they use as pets? What do they use for food? What do they hunt? What are their enemies? Uh, what, what do they trade? Uh, you know, a billion questions that we ask ourselves. What type of house would you need based on the climate that you're in? A billion different questions. And for me, it really helps me get into the build. It helps me envision it, and it adds a whole lot of depth and a whole lot of flavor to what I'm doing. For this place, uh, it, your instinct might be wolves and bears. Those are the creatures we ride here. And um, I talked about in the intro, I think I want it to be these pigs. I think I want these pigs to be one of the primary creatures here. I like them. And I think instead of wolves and bears being the kin of these people, being their, being their pets, being their tames, I think they're going to be the enemy, especially the wolf. Because if you were to just try and live here, and this series blends a little bit of fantasy, a little bit of my imagination, a little bit of history, like Viking history, with Ark and with the lore and mythology of Ark, because no matter what we do, this is still a dinosaur game. And if you were to live here in Ark, you would have to deal with a lot of wolves, roving packs of hungry wolves and that is why we started building a walled city in the first place there's also you tyrannus out here there's you tyrannus with big packs of carnos and there are argies so if you're building a city here you need to think about those things are they food are they enemies do they do the argies steal your babies because i could totally picture that so how do you defend against that walls ain't gonna do nothing against argies 
They may hold off the wolves, but I mean, if a Utyrannus and a pack of Carnos come, wood walls do not seem like they would be enough. They would be enough to hold off wolves in the real world, but not, yeah, I don't know. So with this with this series, I mix and match. I mix and match the real world with the physics of the game with a billion things. And that's just, that's it. This is me. This is my, uh, this is the way I most enjoy playing the game. And that's what we've been all about in this series. So let's go ahead and take a look at this place from the inside. I think we've done it. I mean, we're going to go ahead and put a roof on it, but uh, I think, I think we've done it. Let's wander up here. From the inside, it is spectacular. I very much enjoy that, guys. Um, the question, an important question is, do we have to stop there? Could we potentially do that and that and maybe or that? Oh, yeah. Whoops. What did I whistle? <laughs> I am the worst. Okay, and we'll put you in there, you in. Come on, do it, perfect. Okay, I think this could work. And then what we'll do is we'll put, I think, stone, maybe wood. Maybe wood is all we need to do here. Yeah, let's do wood. And we will build up like so. And I think that will give us everything we need. Ready, like so, and take you out, take you, take you, and boom. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's get some let's get some wooden roofs and let's see how this looks. I think we got something, guys. I think we do. I very much think so. Uh, no raving packs of wolves. No Utah Rannis. Let's hop up here. Ooh, come on, skillful parkour. Skillful. There we go. So it's the only roof on the whole place that isn't thatch. And it's the only roof on the whole place with an overhang. And it's the only roof on the whole place with this weird catwalk horizontal thing I did as part of the overhang. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. We could definitely go back to thatch. Thatch would be very simple, very easy, and it would match the rest of the house. I mean, we could take a look. It's so easy for me to do in this series, guys. Here. It's so easy for me to do. Let's... There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so very, very easy. Let's go ahead and do this. We can always try both options. Let's let's see let's see what the second option looks like. Something like so. And hopefully all these catwalks stay put where they're supposed to be. And do we do we overhang it? Maybe we don't overhang it. Maybe we get rid of that. Maybe we get rid of that. Maybe we get rid of it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's coming together. There we go. Definitely going to have to do something about this wall. It is not in the perfect position. And I don't know if this is silly now. I might get away with this. I might get away with this. I mean, I might be better served having something that runs across like so. Instead, I think that's probably what we'll do. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And HUD on. Ready? Well, two, three, and four. Perfect. So here's the wall. Let's drop onto it. Yep. Okay, perfect. And that is how we're looking from here. Now we got some building below us, and we got wall nestled right up against. It's actually amazing how close I come. It's almost like it was planned. Uh, by the time we get down here, we're ever so slightly intersecting. You can see, like so. And then uh, they almost share a pillar on that corner. I don't know what to do with this wall. I feel like it needs to be lower, at, at the very least. We also have this fascinating tree here. And I think maybe the wall comes out a little bit, gets lowered a little bit, or maybe maybe we design some sort of royal entrance there. Maybe we make it uh, defensible in some other way um to the back of this house i don't know guys i feel like i feel like this is a long enough episode i rambled about wolves i rambled about mammoths we built this whole thing we did a time lapse um i put a pig on the roof uh, and this build is now for the most part done now next episode we're going to play around with the interior and we open for me I guess I don't have these on auto. Go ahead and close. But yeah, next episode, we're going to play around with the interior. But um, after that, we're going to be free up to take on a new project. And I think 
I think the next place I want to build is right on this rock. That was going to be the next place I built. And then I had one person, one one very sour person tell me I didn't accomplish anything in episode one of this area. So I, I figured I would come and take on a big project, something very Viking and something we could be proud of. And that is this, the Great Hall. So we'll get back to something simple and humble to go in that rock next to these huts in the next episode, along with some interior design. But guys, that does it for today. This is Arca Building Evolved, episode 26. I'm Unite the Clans. This is High Moon Hall from Skyrim, and we have built this thing together. Geeks, I love you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and keep sharing this series. I will see you in the next episode.